The World Pool Masters is a very special event. There's never going to be an easy match or an easy draw. It's like a dream. It's a very big tournament, play the best players in the world. There are 16 top uh, world-class players. It's a really strong field, really, really good mix. It's called the World Pool Masters for a reason. This is the Party Poker World Pool Masters from the Barnsley Metrodome, England. One of the biggest events in nine ball pool, featuring the world's very best in a straight knockout competition. The draw includes six times Masters champion Ralph Suke, twice World and US Open champion Mika Immonen, and that Filipino giant Efren Reyes. Last time, local favourite Chris Melling from right here in Yorkshire defeated defending champion Carol Skaversky and he'll now face the winner of our next match between Guy Young Kim and Alex Pagulain. The World Pool Master event to me is very, uh, actually, uh, very important to me. Uh, for years, I've been trying to win it, and I finally won it in 2007. I wanted to win it again because uh, it's been, I can't remember the last time I played in this event. Probably 2008. Oh yeah, I did play last year. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I did play last year and uh, yeah. Well, um, Guy and Kim, I know her for a long time and she's a very uh, good player, very strong player. Um, I am worried, but uh, it's competition. I watch a lot of his match also and uh, I love his safety. Yeah, I really like enjoy to watch his, you know, safety because he plays safety so well and then he always to, you know, think different with other people. So I always learn new stuff. I play the table and of course I like to entertain the crowds. Win or lose, uh, it's, as long as I enjoy it's good enough for me. I was in Dancing with the Stars in Korea. I learned a lot of stuff from uh, dancing because when I'm dancing I was so nervous and then when I'm playing pool I'm not that nervous anymore so I think it helped with my pool game also. Welcome to the Bansley Metro for the Party Poker World Pool Masters brought to you by Matchroom Sport. This is round number one, it's a race to eight, the winner breaks, and your referee is Michaela Tab. It's time to welcome the players. Firstly, from Canada, he's a former US Open champion, the 2004 World Champion. Would you welcome Alex Pagalaya? And now, his opponent, she is from Korea. She's a two-time world champion. Put your hands together for Ga Young Kim. So then, the World Pool Masters Battle of the Sexes. Alex Pagulayan against Korea's Ga Young Kim. She's known in the Korean media as the Little Devil Girl. But will she be devilish to Alex? Well, <laughs> she's not a favorite in this match. I know she's Race the to top, First one of the top female players. Kim and. Separate. Very famous in Asia, Korea. But still, of course, Pegaline, the favorite. Depends on the beginning of the match. If she 
manages to put pressure right from the get-go, then it's still Pegalai that needs to respond. She's done very well all over the world and a multiple winner on the WPBA Tour in the States, winning the US Open there on several occasions. There is a gap between male and female players in pool, that is without question. But I think the gap is smaller in this Q-sport than any other. Yes, I have to agree. The um, biggest difference, I think, is that the number of top female players, there aren't so many. So the competition is not as fierce as with the men. And that is also a thriving, a thrusting factor, of course. But skill-wise, if we watch this break and run by Guy and Kim, there shouldn't be too much between them. But of course, nine balls not only about pocketing balls and playing position, it's also about kicking and safeties. We still have to see how she upholds it against Peggy Lyon. Well, one thing is certain, she could not have made a better start. How about that? Ga Young Kim off to an absolute flyer. The 2008 World Masters Champion Peggy Lyon, 1-0 down. Second rack, Ga Young Kim to break, leading by one rack to nil. Well, we've just seen a brief but insightful flavour of just how good she can be. Perfect break-off. Look, this is the best start possible. Giving the signal to Pegaline and the viewers that she's here to win. To at least commit herself to winning this match. So what will be the tricky shot in this rack? I say the one ball directly. Pocketing the one, good shape on the two ball to allow herself to get all the way up table to the three. That's the biggest task. Don't think she got there. Now, there is a bank shot available. It looks like a double kiss, but it's not on. I don't know if she knows the shot. Ah, beautiful. They play a lot of pre-cushion in Korea. Actually, it's the biggest Q-sport discipline. And I'm sure she has gained some knowledge in that discipline. Well, for the first three years of employing a cue stick, that's what she played. And then she turned to pool, and the rest is pool history. She has been a, a world champion. Nine and ten ball in the ladies' game. And well known at home because she's had success in the multi-sports events like the Asian Games. Silver medalist in eight ball in 2006 in Doha and again at Guangzhou in 2010 and she won the silver medal in the women's nine ball at this year's World Games in Cali in Colombia. And you cannot get more impressive than the way she has begun this match. 2-0. There's a real story developing at the Party Poker World Pool Masters here in Barnsley because Guy Young Kim from Korea leads Alex Pagulayan by two racks to nil and she's breaking off in the third. Yeah. 
Alex, a great performance so far. So far, yes, Phil. Although on this third break, she let down on the speed and the risk of her subtle braking speed is that when she does not make a ball, she runs a big risk of handing on an open table with a clear shot on the one. When the player breaks a little harder, he runs risk of not controlling the cue ball, but at the same time not giving a shot on the one if no ball finds a pocket. So maybe a good thing for Alex that Gaian Kim started so strongly. So if there was any hesitation, any trouble in getting his right mindset, he will have passed that hurdle now. He needs to come with his A game right away. I've mentioned before that he won this title five years ago at the Riviera Hotel and Casino on the Las Vegas Strip. Had the pleasure of commentating on that tournament. And I well recall the fact that he didn't start off all that well, just scraped through his first match and grew stronger as the event went on. The main priority here, not to produce a five-star performance, simply get through. Well, some noise there in the back of the, the crowd. Very off-putting. Well, for me and for many players, Peg Lyon, one of the most talented, one of the most inspiring players. Maybe the man to follow up, Efren Reyes, is a player's favorite. He needs to commit himself fully to the game, though. He now needs to commit to the upcoming nine ball and the subsequent wrecks because the little devil, Guy Young Kim, has made her point. It's a very good standard of pool. It's fluent stuff. And Alex Pagulayan is on the board. He trails, though, 2-1. Alex Pagulayan to break, trailing by two racks to one. The mantra for Pagulayan as he breaks off in rack four. More of the same, please. The one ball found the side pocket. Was it controlled speed here? Didn't really throw his body into the break shot. It's a choice. All the players are watching each other and are trying to figure out what the best speed is on this table. A speed where you make balls consistently, where you have a minimal risk of producing an illegal break. And he is now faced with a shot on the two. Could play the two-four combination, but it's very off. Don't like it. Difficult to make, difficult to play position. Oh. Wow, how did he hit that shot? He played that two ball, he controlled that two ball exactly how he had planned. What a strike. Well, the shot of the tournament so far for me, that beautiful in every aspect extreme side employed pretty much ideal position leave little angle on the five ball and then he would leave himself straight in on the six to the side pocket a shot which he would not be able to force with speed 
So maybe that consideration, a reason to leave an angle on the 5 and to come out two rails, center table, towards the 7. He's looking at a workable angle on the 6. Looks like coming out two rails, six to the same pocket. When you're queuing diagonally across the the cushion like this, always a little awkward. But no sweat for the man they call the Killer Pixie. Did not pocket the six ball cleanly, but the art in nine ball pool is to play shots at the proper speed. So to maximize the acceptance from the pockets. Just thinking Little Devil Girl against Killer Pixie. Sounds like something from a Stephen King movie. But this is a Barry Hearn production, the World Pool Masters. And in this first round match, it's going to be all square in just a few seconds. Four racks played, three of them break and run outs. Quality. Alex Pagalion to break at two ranks each. So then, can Pagalion hit the front? Beautiful break. Still not throwing in the back leg. There are two ways to play the cut break or focus on speed speed of the cue ball and then the body action would be practiced or to make a cut break with a lot of side on the cue ball and that's how Pegalion played it just arm action and a lot of side spin the side spin not only helping the cue ball towards the center of the table but it also helps to pocket the wing ball in the corner pocket a shot many players can learn from could also have rolled the cue ball but in this way he allows himself to strike the ball with authority punching it two rails around the five you know in the semi-finals of the 2004 BCA Open in the very first rack of that match Paggy Lyon sank six balls off his break-off shot and didn't win the rack I think he might win this one On purpose, leaving himself an angle on the 7. A lot more margin for error. Coming in 3 rails towards the 7. Into the funnel, so to say. In 9 ball pool, players use angles to let that cue ball run. Coming in towards the next shot. What an entertainingly high standard match. And a good comeback from Paggy Lyon. 3-2 ahead. Six, 
Alex Pagulai into break, leading by three racks to two. Welcome back to the Party Poker Whirlpool Masters in Barnsley, where Alex Pagulai is feeling a whole lot better now than he was 15 minutes or so ago. He leads Guy and Kim 3-2, breaking off in rack six, looking to build on his advantage. Yes, and the advantage of his type of break shot, where he hits a subtle speed and makes the balls go in with side spin on the cue ball, is that it's very repetitive. It's easier to repeat than when breaking medium hard. <coughs> Guy on Kim is in trouble, getting some seat treatment. I must say I think it's an inspired move by any pool promoter to include a female competitor in a lineup like this. And it's not gimmicky. They deserve their place and really add something to the event. Back in the early 90s, I was always a great proponent of giving Alison Fisher a wild card to the Masters event in snooker at Wembley Conference Centre. It never happened, and I think it was a great opportunity lost. Guy and Kim, on her day, is able to beat any player, but Alex Pegelein really bringing out the best so far. So in that manner, the first two break and runs by Guy Young Kim have helped Pegulain to make the best possible start in his campaign this year. He's about to make his fourth consecutive run. We know that Chris Melling lies in wait in the quarterfinals, and whoever gets through from this match, that will produce a mouth-watering encounter. <coughs> Pegulain made use of the full pocket on that seven ball, cheating the pocket, enabling him to hold the cue ball. Alex Pagulain drinking at the halfway house to victory, 4-2 ahead. Rack 7, Alex Pagulain to break, leading by 4 racks to 2. Alex, when you see him play like this, you can understand why he's had such an incredible record over the years at the very highest level of pool. Yes, indeed, Phil. Though I must say what the, the, the level of play of Alex Pegulain is more defined, more than the breaking and running out by his safety game and his kicking game, the kick shot being the escape from a snooker. That's where guys like him, players like Pegulain, like Evan Reyes, really make the difference. That's how Appleton has gained so much the last couple of years worked really hard on his safety and kicking game. Well, Paggy Lyons' tactical nous and knowledge, expertise, will be put to the test here. It's a dry break, the first of the match. Push out. And the guy and Kim is pushing out. And not the best push out. She's left the one ball on. Well, it's on, but it's not an easy shot. The cue ball will travel, come all the way down towards the eight, eight and nine. It's a shot with little future. I expect Pegaline to play safety. Ha! <laughs> These type of shots, that's where they make the difference. The two-way shots, the 
aggressive shots. Beautiful. I never spotted it. Well, Kim left the direct pot and also the double. And swooping in without hesitation, Maggie Lyon. And this is what Guy and Kim, I think, l misses when she plays with the female players. That there's so many top players. With the men, the level is so high that the sort of shot that Pegulain just made, those are shots that you need in order to win tournaments. That you need in order to steal racks here and there. Extension. But... Line is far from out. He could pocket the three ball, but maneuvering position from the three to the four is very difficult. Line now considering, I presume, a safety shot. <laughs> oh no, what a beautiful execution. Not only the three ball blocked by the six and nine, but also the cue ball nestling against the eight. Yes, two things you need in any sport visualization and execution. And there, Paggy Lion was top of the tree with both. Wow, she played that shot with a lot of confidence. Decided quickly. But there was no guessing in finding a trajectory towards the three ball. She knew the route. Just no luck this time. A degree of intricacy involved in cleaning up here. But the way he's playing, you've got a fancy paggy line now for 5 2. Looks at the 6 9 combination as a possibility. Or coming around, playing the six towards the same pocket. Pretty good record in this tournament, Paggy Lyon. We talked about his capture of the title in 2008. Back in 2006, he was runner-up to Ralph Suke. On that occasion, Suke winning the fifth of his six World Masters titles. It's a pretty good record, Phil. I'd like to be a little stricter with Peggy Lyon. I think he can be the best in the world if he'd commit himself more continuously. He looks very good in this match, though. <laughs> Methodical and patient. Measuring his shots out well. So basically, you're saying, even though he's got this fine record, he's an underachiever? Yes, <laughs> risking to get criticised for that remark. I think it's a compliment. Very impressive stuff from Taggy Lyon. He's forged into a 5-2 lead. It's an all-Asian battle of the sexes here at the Party Poker Whirlpool Masters in Barnsley, Yorkshire, England. 
And right now, Alex Pagulayan has put up what they call a five spot. He was 2-0 down. He's won five consecutive racks, hoping to make it six. And he lost his feel for the break somewhat. He ran four racks on the trot. Then in the fifth, didn't make a ball. This time he made balls, a legal break, but no good position on the two. He'll tuck the cue ball behind the seven. And again, all Gayan Kim sees is a multiple rail escape. Around the four. But what future does she have? She's looking at hitting the top rail. When a player considers an escape, it's all about Benson. possibilities and chance. Which route gives me a better chance to get lucky? Of course you try to hit the ball perfect, but more times than not, you won't be perfect. Beautiful hit. And again, like before, with speed. Needs to come with a big stroke though. Close to the rail, little angle on the three ball. And her consideration, force the cue ball get to the four. Or don't force it and playing a tougher four ball. Ah, oh. oh, and my size because she left herself long but failed to draw the cue ball back two inches. Now the six ball is hampering the cueing, making the shot even harder. Don't think she'll take it on even. Maybe forced to play the safety. Containing safe. And there's nothing safe about that at all. And that's a pity. Or a <laughs> pity that hurts. She made a beautiful kick shot. And then a poor positional shot from the 3 to the 4. That's just pressure and the fact that Peggy Line has kept her in her seat so long. Of course, there's extra pressure for Kai Young Kim because she's not just playing for herself or for career, but she's also playing for women's pool in general, representing that game in its totality. And I think that's why she looked so frustrated because it was not just an execution error, failing to draw the cue ball two inches, but more a mental error coming from all this pressure. Six consecutive racks for Alex Pagulayan. His grip on this match tightens. Here the escape from Gaian Kim. A nice hit. Some luck involved. But a poor position from the three to the four left her too much to do. And forthcoming, the door Back wide nine. open for Pagulayan. Alex Pagulayan to break, leading by six racks, two two. Yes, Michaela Tab, the referee, announcing the scores and not good hearing for Guy Young Kim there in her chair. She's two racks away from defeat. And of course, Paggy Lyon breaking off in the ninth. You're right, though, his break off in the last few racks has not been as effective as it was early on. 
and that's the tricky part of about of using a subtle brake, a subtle speed, soft, medium, medium speed. When you lose your timing just a little bit, you stop making balls. But the run of the balls is not favoring Guy Young Kim because she can see the one, but no easy shot for her available. And she's going for an aggressive push out. Aggressive. Leaving Peggy Lyon snookered and calling him out to play a multiple rail kick shot or a jump. <coughs> the jump shot being difficult. The hardest part though is making the one and getting position, getting the cue ball down towards the two ball. Good fortune on two counts. Not just fluking the ball, but also avoiding the other top pocket with the cue ball. This is what a nine ball player always remembers when in the chair that luck will turn. It comes, it goes. And if you stay composed, you will get your share. No easy position. Cannot draw or stun the ball to come on the left side of the nine because the seven is in the way. Needs to deal with that five ball. Oh, she is stunning back. I don't know if she's used to play with the shot clock, but she seemed to rush a little on her shot selection there. Well, that's the thing with the shot clock, whether it be in pool or in snooker. When you first play under its restrictions, that's the natural tendency to rush a little too much. You've actually got more time than you think. Can she do it again? Oh, beautiful shot, a lifesaver, a possible lifesaver. But then she needs to start controlling her cue ball better. Would you believe the jump shot executed on the nose and then the five ball in mid table missed very high breathing I always look at this now being a coach but also when I was a player looking at players whether they are breathing slowly profoundly or whether they are agitated What a missed chances by Guy Young Kim. But it comes to show how difficult this as explosive nine ball is. Rex come and go so swiftly. Ten minutes in the chair and you're looking at a 5-2, 6-2 score line. Well, a safety, yes, but nothing to get Paggy Lyon scratching his head about. Using two balls, the seven and the nine. And Guy Young Kim, she did have a shot on the five. 
And it's okay to refuse a shot, but then play the safety full-heartedly. Jump shot. Can she make it three in a row? Three in a row for Gaian Kim. The first one was a fluke, but the afterwards, two great shots. <laughs> Yes, Alex has learned his lesson. If you didn't hear what he said, I will never leave you that shot again. <laughs> ah, that's better. She will have a cut shot on the seven. Well, she's been spectacular in this rack. Let's hope she wins it. Oh, that ball skidded. Bad contact. <laughs> Unbelievable, what bad luck. That was not her fault. That was the pool equivalent of what they call in snooker a kick. An obvious one, a destructive one, and a very untimely one for Guy Young Kim. Look at this, how it's straightened. So cruel, Alex. Yes and no, Phil. Um, most of the times, the player who's making the most unforced errors in the match will get punished. At least that's my philosophy. And Alex Pakulayan comes in to clean up the mess. He's seven to ahead, one more rack required. These jump shots were spectacular. But of course, mingled in were mistakes. In the end though, it was all about the skid on the seven. And after that, I'm afraid she knew her goose was cooked. Pegalion Lion is not having any position. In the four, first four breaks, he did manage to have position after the break and make balls. My assumption would be to that he would up his speed on the break, control the cue ball a little less, but have a more product productive opening of the rack. But he will watch other players after this match. He will sort it out and try to think of the best speed for this table. And how about the 2-9 combination to finish off the match? It was full of spectacular shots. Alex Pagulayan coming through convincingly by eight racks to two. Well done. Super stuff. And there's that combination again. Right into the heart of the pocket. An abrupt end to a cracking contest. The table plays perfect, especially the way I'm rolling. <laughs> of course, Alice was tough, but other than Alice, everybody will be like really tough for me. Yeah, I made a couple, you know, good shot, but I played a couple of bad shots. <laughs> I know her for a long time and I know she's a very good player and I know she can compete with the man. Cannot take her lightly, so I know she can beat any one of us in any given day. So. <laughs> Alex Pagulayan progresses and he'll now face England's Chris Melling in the quarterfinals. Next time, Moscone Cup teammates Carl Boys and Neil Sfyan clash on the table here at the Party Poker Whirlpool Masters.